So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to add a couple of calculated fields to a table. So we have a table with some data about employees, their salary and their bonus. Um, if we want another column in this table, for example, to show us um, the yearly salary, what we can do is we can take a component such as an input text and drop it in the table between columns. So for example, let's put it here. Okay, this creates a cell template for this column and you can actually set the data for this, right? So if you just want to do a simple calculation, you can access the row value, for example, the salary and maybe do something like salary times 12, which would give us the yearly salary. Okay, so here's the calculation. If you want to change the title of this column, you just click over here and here is where you get information about this column, right? So you can go over here and change the title, for example, to something like yearly salary. All right, um, what happens if you want to do something that has more complex logic than just um, one value times another value or something like that? Um, what you can do then is you can um, do a page level function. Okay, so let's add a function here. Um, let's do something like a page module dot, and then we'll pick up the prototype and we'll create something like a bonus calc function, okay? So this would be a function that accepts two parameters. Uh, one of them would be the bonus and the other one would be the salary, okay? And then we can write some business logic. So you can do an if then else here or things like that. And um, I'm going to save you time. I'm not going to write the whole if then else and everything else you want to do here. I'm just going to do something like return a bonus times the salary like that. Okay. And again, uh, you can later on to do add logic here. All right, so we have this little function over here, and now we want to use it in our application, right? So we go back into our page, and we add another field in here. So let's add another input text, for example, we'll put it at the end of the table over here. And the data in here would need to come from this function. Now, right now you can't see the function over here, right? So you can access the row values and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to actually just say, for now it's just going to show the salary, okay? And then I'm going to switch over to the code view. And in the code view, this is the new column we added. We can actually do more advanced things in the code editor, for example, if we'll do a dollar sign and we'll wait for the code insight to pop up, one of the things we get here is access to functions. So we're going to access the functions, type dot, and you'll actually get a code insight into the functions you created. So I created a bonus calc function. So I'm going to pick this one up and into this function, I'm going to pass the current salary, right? And just like I passed this, we actually need two parameters. So we also need the current bonus, like that. And we just need to add the closing brackets, so everything is fine here, and then switch to the design view, and now we get the calculation, which is basically this one times this one, okay? Um, and again, if you then update the function, for example, if you say it's not just bonus, it's um, something like one plus the bonus, Right, and then times the salary, and you switch back to the UI, this would now reflect the bonus implemented over here. So that's how you add functions.